Azerbaijan is getting ready to host the Eurovision Song Contest. But in this country, singing the wrong song can get you arrested and beaten by the police. Jamal Ali says this song is about his country's president, Ilham Aliyev. When he sang it at a protest, he was arrested and beaten so badly he couldn't walk. Actually, it was, they, they call that, uh, we explain you the rules of this country. The way explain, it's, it's an explanation, not a beating. Last month, journalist Idrak Abasov was beaten by security guards from the state oil company when he was covering a story. This is not the image that the government of Azerbaijan wants the world to see. Here's the global public relations campaign Azerbaijan launched ahead of the Eurovision Song Contest. Azerbaijan, European charm of the Orient. The European Broadcasting Union oversees the contest. The European Broadcasting Union is itself a media organization that lives and dies by the principle of freedom of speech. European broadcasters could not do the job they do if there were not freedom of expression in Europe. But there is not freedom of expression in Azerbaijan. Journalists in Azerbaijan face torture, interrogation, and blackmail. Khadija Ismailova was secretly filmed in her bedroom after she started investigating the business holdings of the president's family. I received a package uh, with six pictures of intimate character like uh, showing me engaged in sexual relationship and uh, a note. The note was saying, you whore, behave, or you will be defamed. When she didn't stop her reporting, the footage was circulated on the Internet and a pro-government newspaper attacked her personally. If the Azerbaijan government doesn't like what you write, the first method they try is usually economic. They try to squeeze the newspaper economically in order to get it to toe the line. If that doesn't work, they move on to more repressive measures. Awaz Zainali faces 12 years in prison. He was jailed for criminal defamation after publishing articles that were critical of government officials. His wife says his newspaper was pressured by the government before it was shut down. Authorities used trumped-up charges, including tax evasion and drug possession, to keep newspaper editor Enula Fatulayev in prison. Uh, he remained behind bars even after the European Court of Human Rights found that he'd been wrongly charged and imprisoned. With the spotlight on their country for the Eurovision Song Contest, free speech advocates in Azerbaijan say they need support from the European Broadcasting Union. They can tell the government of Azerbaijan and they, can, they should tell it, say it very loudly, that free song contest can only take place in free country. The European Broadcasting Union has a really important opportunity to stand up for the very values that make media freedoms in Europe possible. This is their moment to say freedom of speech matters.